I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and I especially want to point out that reel. That's a new Tsunami Salt X6000, and I'll have more to say about that as we go along. All right, Long Island, near the end of August, uh, striper fishing has been just so slow. Um, what you're going to see here is uh, one hit I had out of four trips, um, but it's going to be a nice one. And I'd like to say some things about the reel. Uh, it's a new Tsunami Salt X6000, and um, I've been using it for about a month or so, and I like it. It's very comfortable. Um, this is a fully sealed reel. You can submerge it. You can apparently crank it underwater without having water intrusion. Um, very smooth drag, stainless steel gear train, um, $379, good price. Let's watch the fishing. Something I love about this reel is that it comes with a bailless conversion kit, so I've done that conversion. It was very easy to do, so now the reel is bailless. In my opinion, bales are like the worst invention ever. I think if people learn from the beginning to use bailless spinning reels, uh, they would never consider having a bale. So I very much appreciated that the reel came with the kit and it was easy to do. All right, the plug is a six and three quarter inch uh, Ron Ara Strike Pro round bottom pencil and I can't find them online. I, I don't know whether they still make them or not. Uh, I own one, this one that's in the fish's mouth, and that's it. All right, 34 pounds, and I'm going to hustle and get that thing right back in the water and, and get it released. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'll stay with him. Oh, he's going to be good. All right, I'd like nothing better than to show you another fish caught on that trip, but no, uh, the fishing is slow. Uh, the next fish was like a week later, and uh, it's, it's nowhere near as big as that one, but it's a decent one. It's a beautiful night. Um, this rod is the, uh, it's the factory version of the GSB, the Lamaglass GSB-121L. Um, geez, I've got three of these factory rods now, and they, they just have done a beautiful job. Um, all right, so uh, I'm going to try to zoom in on the hit. This is going to be nice. Thank you. 
you may have heard that low pitch squeaking as the line went up against the rock and the other fish did that as well so the line is Daiwa J Braid Grand and I've been using it this year and uh, very impressed uh, very good casting the abrasion resistance seems good because I haven't broken any of these fish off in the rocks this season uh, and they almost all go up against the rocks so uh, so far so good on that and again I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description come on fall off do us all a favor fall off come on Oh man, you're not in the gills, you're just under the lip. There you go. Oh boy. All right, and that was the only hit on this trip. Hey, you know what, if I get one once in a while, fine. All right, uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe.